Hello dear traders. In the first six months of the year, the US stock market slumped by more than 20%. The Dow Jones and S&P 500 posted their worst six-month results since 1962 and 1970 respectively. Yet the previous trading week ended with gains. It seems that investors are tired of negative news and are ready to react to anything positive. In the last trading hours on Friday, the market went up amid unexpectedly high manufacturing activity for June. Notably, this data came out right after the extremely weak US GDP data and incredibly low consumer confidence. The US dollar index, which measures its value against the basket of six major currencies, returned to its highest level since December 2022, above 105 points. The demand for the US currency rose as markets expect more aggressive measures from the US Federal Reserve. The Fed official voiced concern about high inflation and said they were going to fight it even though it may lead to a recession. So market participants anticipate that FOMC will raise the rate by another 75 basis points at the next policy meeting. The single European currency dropped by 1.22% against the dollar and is now approaching their five-year low of 1.0350. The difference between the policies of the ECB and the Fed is getting bigger, which is putting pressure on the euro. The energy crisis in Europe is another bearish factor for the currency. Besides, it seems that the ECB president is not sure whether 25 basis points rate hike will anyhow improve the situation with the soaring prices in the eurozone. So the euro stays in the downtrend. At the same time, the US dollar is gaining ground against the currencies that have more support from the central bank. Thus, the pound-dollar pair lost almost 1.5% last week while testing the level of 1.20. The last time the pair declined below this level was during the pandemic breakout in March 2020. Most likely investors were influenced by the revised forecast from the Bank of England. The latest macroeconomic data signals falling consumer activity and the increased risk of recession. Meanwhile, Bitcoin keeps losing ground as well. The price of the number one cryptocurrency dropped below $20,000 per token. Unfortunately, some analysts admitted that last week that many altcoins had already lost their value. This week, traders will closely monitor the tractor of Bitcoin. In the meantime, the commodity market is slowly stabilizing. Brent crude consolidated just above the level of $111 per barrel. The demand for the oil is declining in the light of the looming recession, yet the supply remains tight as well. The members of the OPEC Plus deal agreed to increase production to 648,000 barrels per day, despite calls from the US to produce more crude. In addition, supply disruptions in Libya and the expected shutdown of oil production in Norway will intensify the pressure on the oil market. In the precious metal market, gold also faced a sell-off. It lost 1.19% of its value and was hovering around its lowest level in almost seven weeks. A massive sell-off in risk assets made investors close their position on gold. Although the yellow metal is traditionally viewed as a hedge against inflation and economic uncertainty, Higher interest rates increase the loss of holding gold as an investment. These are trends of the last week. We will keep following the events and share the information with you. Subscribe to our channel, leave your comments and reactions below the video and see you next time.